Hello everybody. I hope you're doing fine. I know I've been gone for a really long time, but again, I'm here to show you a new beading project and that's going to be a memory wire bracelet. Recently, I got hold of memory wire. I bought this from India only. It's so difficult to buy stuffs inter internationally for me, so I have to look everywhere in the whole of the nation to find things which I want even though I don't get half of it but still I managed to find some of them so this one I found uh, uh, this one I got from a uh, um, shop in Mumbai uh, in Maharashtra if you're an Indian you know where to find these in Mumbai but uh, you can always find these things on eBay or Amazon or anywhere. But for me, it's really difficult to buy from an international shop. And so that is the very reason why I look for things in India only. Anyways, I got hold of the memory wire. And one thing that I noticed about memory wire, I'm going to tell you later on in the video. So let me show you some samples that I made with the memory wire. Uh, this was a bracelet which I made using pearl beads, some 6 so seed beads, then some daisy spaces, then some 8mm rondales, daisy spaces, then pearls and um, 6 so seed beads. And these two pearls here are 6mm. Then I used a pipe, pipe spacer. This is a bent pipe spacer then i got this from a local store here it was a craft store and i got them so and this was my sequence that i added in into my memory wire and this was what it turned out to be i think it's really awesome and i love it then the next thing that i made was um rondale and six of seed beads so my sequence sequence in this one was a six so this was a red one a daisy spacer then a six I'm sorry a four millimeter um, metallic bead this is an oxidized metal bead it doesn't leave its color so I just love it then again a six so two of my daisy spacers then a eight millimeter rondelle crystal then two of my daisy spacers and a six so seed bead six so seed bead then a 4mm metallic bead. Again, I continued the whole sequence all the way around and this is what it came out to be. You could use so many different colors to make a beautiful bracelet out of this one. Then this morning I made this bracelet. I added 5 of the 4mm metallic beads. Then a 4mm glass pearl bead. These, these are actually matte pearls. Then a rondelle. This is a 6mm rondelle uh, with, uh, I don't know, chetons in between them. It's really shiny but I can't show it to you in the camera. And then a 8mm matte green pearl bead. Again a rondelle and then a 6mm red bead. Again I continued the same sequence. And this is what the result came out to be. I love this one. I honestly love this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wear it. Okay? Okay. So I wanted to tell you things about the memory wire. Memory wire comes in two shapes. One is round. The one I got for myself. And another one is oval. The oval one we don't get here. I'm sorry about the wind. It's because we're having a really windy day over here just like last time. So just forget about that and just try to ignore because I'm doing it in an open space. Anyways, uh, the oval one we don't get here in India. But if you want that, you could always uh, buy it from eBay or Amazon or Etsy. Those who have a rounded wrist, they can go for round 
memory wires because I have a round wrist and my round memory wire just works fine for me but if, if you have a flat wrist or an oval wrist you should definitely go for an oval one the round one won't look good on your wrist that's for sure next thing I wanted to tell you there is no size for a memory wire when I bought this memory wire I was just banging my head with that salesperson to show me what different sizes he had and he told me that he only had one size so when I when I bought this when it came to me I thought that it was very small but no that is a very big misunderstanding that people have and that is memory wire is only one size or two sizes I don't know if what the international market sells the memory wire with the different sizes but as for me this is my size and um, what I like to do is the memory wire yeah one more thing the memory wire fits all sizes if you're really fat and lumpy or you're really thin and skinny memory wire will definitely fill you in it it will take the shape or the size of your wrist you don't have to worry about it being loose or really tight it just fits your mm, wrist really nice so that was all the information that you, that I could give you about memory wire and yes memory wire comes in different colors like this one here is nickel mine is nickel so it doesn't um, oxidize really badly or decolorize but who cares because we are going to fill it up with beads but mine doesn't I hope you buy a good memory wire when you buy next time and I hope that uh, a little information on memory wire was helpful to you so getting started with the tutorial I will be using some 11 O seed beads these are check glass seed beads uh, from um, Preciosa okay then I got some silver rondales you could always use daisy spaces or other spaces in place of this one because these are really costly and it's not easily available here but never mind you could always use any kind of bead that you want then I'm going to use some six uh, sorry some eight millimeter glass poles and then I'm going to use some six millimeter metallic uh, metallic I'm sorry not gunmetal yeah these are gunmetal glass pearls these are also from preciosas these are really nice but this one this one is not a branded one these are just common bees that I use here in my shop so let's get started with the project you will also along with those you will also need uh, need uh, round nose pliers and some cutters so what I'm gonna do now I'm going to show you how to cut your memory wire now that's a really big question on how do I cut my memory wire time to take out I am a really messy person so with me nothing stays intact and I'm always going to look for um, places to cut my memory wire so I'm just going to start off with an end see how messy I am anyways I'll just look for it so what you do is you take one end of your wire hold it straight along your fingers so just calculate if this is one row and it stops here this is one ring then this is the second ring and this is the third ring this is what this is what the length of my bracelet I need so I'm gonna cut my piece here so it's like one I'm sorry it's like we leave this one two and three so I'm gonna cut it over here right here okay done now let your memory wire run away you take your memory wire I hope you can see what I'm doing what you do is you leave about half inch space and hold your wire with your pliers now bend in this way okay after this you're going to just turn it over so that you have this nice loop okay now 
hold the other side of your wire just forget everything forget these things just hold on to this part and then start adding I'm sorry forget the seed beads start adding a six millimeter a rondelle a eight millimeter and a sorry a rondelle and a six millimeter I'm repeating a six millimeter a rondelle an eight millimeter rondelle six millimeter drop them down I have used seed beads of the same color as my middle eight millimeter pearl I'm going to take five to six no I'll take seven three four five six and seven you could use eight o seed beads with it also as for me I am not a big fan of six o seed beads or eight o seed beads so in my memory wire actually memory wire bracelets not otherwise <laughs> so take about three three six seven beads or you could always add more but I don't like much again I'm gonna take a um, six millimeter a rondelle eight millimeter rondelle six millimeter seven seed beads eleven o's one two three four five six and seven six millimeter rondelle eight millimeter rondelle and a six millimeter and this is my sequence I'm going to continue putting beads into my memory wire until it's finished so I'm gonna pause you here for a second continue doing that and I'll tell you how to complete it okay <laughs> you can see the mess that I created while I was making it so I'm at my last sequence I just added my last sequence and I have only this much of memory wire left so I'm gonna take my pliers bend this whole thing and then I'm going to just make it a circle done I have a beautiful bracelet ready and done and if you can closely see my ends are meeting at one place even though they're just a tiny bit um, up and down but never mind they're really nice and I have three sets of memory wire bracelet already and done so let me just count out how many beads I use because in the beginning I did not tell you how it actually doesn't matter how many beads you use it totally depends upon uh, the length of your wire that you're using so it's a waste of time to just count out the number of beads that I used you could use so many different varieties and uh, different kinds and shapes and sizes of beads in order to make a bracelet out of memory wire I don't know this wind is killing me anyway so these are the various designs that I showed you how to make I hope you enjoyed this tutorial thanks for watching and I'll see you next time guys before that please don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment I'll see you next time bye